Georgetown has a lot to offer, but it's lacking in one area, retail. Residents don't seem to mind because they have the Georgetown Country Store. We try to provide the staples for the tourists and the locals. We try to you know, maintain a stock year round. Though this has been a store since the 70s, it's more like a house. And customers do feel at home thanks to manager Dolores Panette. She's like a mom, making sure everyone is fed and finds what they need. In the morning especially, we'll have a morning influx of the guys and some of the women, but they can sit on the porch and talk, and they come in every day pretty much. And then we have a pretty steady regulars for lunch. I like meeting the people and doing, you know, talking about the history and, you know, providing a good service. She knows the history well, though she's only been here 40 years. I moved here in the early 70s and I came from across the river in Booth Bay, so not very far away the way the crow flies, but never a local. You could be here all your life, but if you weren't born and raised here, you're not a local. <laughs> Residents let that slide, as long as Dolores keeps cooking her lobster rolls and fried seafood platters. They can eat here, take it over to Five Islands, the beach, whatever they want. And in the winter, we also offer a Friday night special, which is a home-cooked meal. No matter what time of day or time of year, Dolores will be there behind the counter. Next door, Georgetown Pottery. Everything's handmade, hand decorated. Everything we use is rock. Every single thing that's in here that makes a pot is rock. All the glazed materials, all the clay materials, all the colorants, everything is from the ground. After dropping out of art school more than 40 years ago, Jeff Peters needed a place to stay. He moved in with a friend here in Georgetown. The California kid never left. I love the water and I love the winter because I didn't have a winter as a kid. So I like winter things and I like going boating and fishing. Maine has 3,500 miles of coastline, so there's a lot of boating. Maine makes it into almost every piece of pottery. We do kind of a Maine theme brushwork and the patterns change. At any given time we might have some retired patterns, but right now we do a new birch point that's very popular, lighthouse, kind of all Maine themed, sailboat, blueberries. Though locally themed, the bowls, plates and cups have broad appeal. Some sold in the gift shop at the Smithsonian. Peter's Ikebana vases, used for Japanese flower arranging, are international bestsellers. We like to make things to use. I won't say we're art potters. We're potters who like to make things that make people happy and they use in their house every day. And that's probably why we're successful. For Peter's, there's nothing like looking at a lump of clay and dreaming up all the possibilities. It's an excitement he's felt all his life. I was good at it at a very young age. I actually got kicked out of my high school ceramics for having a clay fight after I got all my friends in there. And I had to wait till I was in college to do it again, and I couldn't wait. I like the fact that it kind of makes you feel centered. It gives you something to do. There's a lot of satisfaction at the end of every day. It's hard to make money in Maine if you can bring a talent and skill with you, then it's easier. You like the beauty, you want to be away from the cities, you want to have a nice, comfortable lifestyle. So it's all about lifestyle. People, potters and artists come to Maine because it's a nice place to live.